Did you know how to start? I don't know. And I don't know what you do, but I clean my desk. I made a lot of stupid appointments that I make sounds important. I avoid it, I delight it, I deny it. I always scare that I don't know what to do. It's terrifying. And then, when I start to design, I always say a final. Not always is so bad. Santiago Calatrava Balls is a Spanish architect, a sculptor, and a structural engineer whose principal office is in Zurich, Switzerland. There is a sea work quality to the work of Santiago Calatrava. He designs with a maritime sensitivity that, at times, can suit the surrounding landscape or crucified it. A trained architect and engineer, Calatrava constantly attempts to design the impossible, but then engage his engineering duo personal to prove his designer limitation wrong. Calatrava may very well be the type of architect who would rather write PH.D before his name than after. His design approach can create a disturbing paradox, as there seems to be a low tremor of insecurity that runs through the veins of his work. Much of his work leans toward design arrogance that seeks to publicize and publish in legacy all at once. Santiago is not without attention talent, in fact, he has an extraordinary talent. He is not only an engineer and architect, but a painter and a sculptor. Many critics have decided his abilities and consider him to be simply a great engineer and a variety designer. Calatrava was born on July 28, 1951, in Benimaime, a rural part of Valencia, Spain. He was educated locally at the Architecture, Art and Craft School following his graduation in 1975. Calatrava enrolled in the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, Switzerland, for graduate work in civil engineering. He completed his doctoral thesis in 1981 and the topic, The Foldability of the Space Frames. Amster, which he started his architecture and engineering practice. Santiago Calatrava is one of the most important architects in the world. He is catalogued as the great builder of monuments in the contemporary field. His monuments have an extraordinary aesthetic and harmony, although this shows clearly their structures. But Santiago Calatrava is also an engineer and he is able to convert these structures in a really art. Buildings are impressive to the public view, focusing uh, on the architectural study of his work. We can find faults that have submitted the inkle codes not covered, and some under not functional. The meeting between architecture and engineering 
has caused many architects and engineers criticize him. For example, Calatrava's work in Bilbao has been criticized of impractical. Bilbao Airport lacks facilities optimal for travelers, and the Subisure bridges glass ties break easily. In 10 years, should be replenished 600 of them at all costs to the city of 300,000 euros. And are a slippery when it rains because several pedestrians sleep in it over the years. Um, Santiago Calatrava is a fantastic architect. Personally, he is a great architect. The modern era graces the brilliant work of the first world. Really, Caratrava deserves the respect of all of us, the architects. He has participated in very important constructions. Queen Sofia Palace is an opera house and cultural center in Valencia, Spain. It was opened in October 8, 2005. Queen Sofia Palace of the Arts is the final structure built of a grand city of arts and sciences. Concept designed by the Valencia Bern and internationally known architect Santiago Calatrava which began in 1995. The building rises 14 stories above ground and includes three stories below ground. Its height is 75 and... <laughs> Its height is 75 meters, being the tallest opera house in the world. Under the expansive covered up structure, 230 meters in length, 40,000 meters, building contains four auditoriums. One of the most successful projects of Calatrava is the transport hub of the World Trade Center at Ground Zero in New York City. 
The project responds to a design by architect Risky in that schools predominant forms compared to more classical design. The design is based on a series of grid steel panels in reading glass helping to maximize the light input to the lower levels of the stage. Although he has had good critics about his analogous construction and the form that he used, he has had also bad critics about his union of architecture and engineer in his works. Some critics say that his works are dysfunctional, risky and expensive, having other forms to reproduce this type of architecture. Personally, one of my favorite architectural works is a Calatrava work. I'm talking about the Tourne Torso, located in the city of Malmo, Suecia. It is a residential skyscraper of 190 meters and 54 floors. It is the second tallest residential building in Europe. But why this building is so special? Well, this building is made for steel, glass, and concrete. It is a structure of nine rotating cubes and a cord of 10.6 meters of diameter. It's proven technical incompetence. The soft structural problems that he in. After the endured late and over eight conclusion, he is in engineer George Romano. They are the food that gets not out of the soil, brings over the grand channel in Venice. The French engineers get the proven the serious mistake made by other illustrious architects in a sense or in pure. The snow and the persistence over spending with the dance. In this section, this light of first light becomes insulting and repeated onto imprudence. Examples, both still pesos and patients that do not fit in a municipal Oviedo without going any further. The most common criticisms in the one spring Calatrava's work was cited by the United States new newspaper the New York Times in the thousand and one. In its pages, in the ones stated that the, the building of Calatrava presents a disturbing incongruity between the, the extravagance of its architecture in the, in the limited purpose itself. Itself referring to the station that Calatrava has designed for ground, ground zero in the New York. In fact, it is not the first work of Calatrava that, that has been criticized and extravagant. For inefficiency to distribute the space or for impractical. As the living infrastructure of the space, Santiago Calatrava, we see now in similar principles. The station will be visible in Europe, Union, London, Paris, Brussels, and Germany. Together with the stations of the left of the line now,
We reached the first railway continental line that was inaugurated in 1838. The station is inaugurated in 1842, being modernizing and improving the course of 1882 and 1905, being replaced in 1958 by one more model that was used until 2007, a bit before Calatrava had the opening of his new building. For the station lead, it was inaugurated in September on 2009 and take the concept of the transparency and the urban dialogue with the city, translating to the transparency with the monumental value of the station. Constructed by crystal and steel with its enormous market of 145 meters of on five platforms, the enormous building of the crystal replaced the terrestrial form and use an interaction between the interior and the station and the city. Being like that, the railway principal station of the city of Lee, to the east of Belgium, superating also a height important for a change of transport of the country and it played in the railway network of high Belgian speed. It possesses a zone of 2,000 meters of length and 35 meters of height. The station Lyons it was inaugurated in July 1994, being released principally of materials as the concrete and the steel by a cost of 700 and 50 million French francs. It is connected by the airport by means of a foot bridge equipped with a mobile waste. Le Hemispheric in Valencia, Spain, designed by Santiago Calatrava, was the first building in the city of arts and sciences, which opened in 1998. The Hemispheric is a planetarium, a screening room, and an IMAX theater, all in a monument that stands out for its originality and apparent shape eye, eyelids, thanks to a special mechanism, open and close as if it were a real eye. Its design resembles an eyelid that opens to access the surrounding water pool. The bottom of the pool is glass, creating the illusion of the eye as a whole. This planetarium is a half square composed of concrete 110 meters long and 55.5 meters width. The shooter is built of elongated aluminum alumnus that fold upward collectively to form a very solid roof that opens along the curved axis of the eye. It opens to reveal the dome, the pupil, uh. of the eye, which is the Ominex Theater. The city of arts and sciences is divided in half by a set of stairs that descend into the valley concrete lobby. The underground space are illuminated with the use of translucent glass panels within the walking path. The transparent roof is supported by concrete arches that connect to the sunken gallery. There is a miracle echo
echo inside of the building and if two people stay on the two positive pillars inside of the eye, they can seamlessly speak with each other. Is your plan? No, let me give it. Yeah. Also, all his words have something special to me. For example, the Woman Bridge in Argentina is a bridge in friendship designed by him. Woman's Bridge is a rotating footbridge, and it is the only work made by Santiago Calatrava in Latin America. It was inaugurated on December 2001 and it's located on Buenos Aires, Argentina. The design is a synthesis of the image of a couple dancing tango.